Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jessica. How are you doing with your classes? I'm fine. Um, I'm going to shopping. You're going to? Shopping. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. At this time? Yeah. <laughs> In the selectors. <laughs> and what about your class? What? Yeah. At the university. Um, today no. Ah, okay. Oh no! <laughs> you forgot it. <laughs> yeah. I have. I <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> you just forgot it. Okay, guys, so we are going to start. And what we are going to do is that we have to think about yesterday's class. Yesterday's class, we were working with the demonstrative adjectives, right? Demonstrative adjectives, but also demonstratives uh, pronouns. And then the, we are going to check if if we uh, had any troubles with them. Otherwise, we are going to uh, continue practicing with some extra exercises, right? So for example,
we are going to start here. Let's see. I'm going to ask, let me see. Carlina, no. Amanda, no. Eric, no. Okay. Can you reset? Can you set? No, either. Okay, Kenya Lisset, you are here. You are connected there, but I can, you cannot listen to me. Kenya? Kenya? No, okay. Jessica Araceli Diaz? Hello. Hello, Jessica Araceli Diaz. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. You have to choose X or zero. Where do you want to write? Okay. X or zero? Oy. Okay. Okay, Jessica. Tell me a sentence with a demonstrative adjective. Mm. Similar yesterday. Yes, yes, demonstrative adjective. Okay. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Who can help her? Okay. Who can help her? She has to name a demonstrative a sentence using demonstrative adjective. Uh huh. Mm. Remember what we, we were practicing at the end. Pero tengo que decirle una oración. Yes. Cuando usábamos el tal. Demonstrative. Is. Ajá, yes. Um. I want to buy this computer. I want to buy this computer. Yes. <laughs> it is a sentence. It is, Jessica. Okay, very good. So you have your ex there. Now, Elsa. Elsa, you are zero. Okay, Elsa, tell me a sentence using demonstrative adjectives. Demonstrative. Demonstrative from this okay. class. Mm -hmm. My, this, this car 
is beautiful. Okay, that is okay. Okay, you can keep your space there. Good. Osvaldo. Hi. Okay, you are X. Okay. You are X. No, no puedo escribir. Quiero ver cómo es. Can you? Ahora sí. Okay. Okay, Osvaldo, tell me a demonstrative, uh, tell me a sentence using a demonstrative pronoun. This is your car. This is your car, yes, that is demonstrative pronoun. Good, se queda. ¿Quién escribió ese otro cero? <laughs> Who did it? Yo, teacher. Okay, Kenya. Okay, Kenya. Tell me a sentence using a demonstrative adjective. This pencil is yellow color. Okay, this pencil, yeah, is yellow color, color yellow, okay, yellow color, that's okay. Now, let's see, Valeria, por ahí he visto que anda Valeria. <laughs> okay, Valerie, you are X, you are X, Valerie. Okay, Valerie, tell me a sentence using the demonstrative pronoun. Okay, uh, this is my computer. This is my computer, yes, that is a demonstrative pronoun. Very good. Now let's see. Who else? Matthew? Matthew, are you here? No, Matthew is not here. Okay, let's see. Berta? Are you here? Berta? Berta is not here either. Okay. So, who's next? Who's, ne who's next, uh, I mean, X or zero? Zero, right? Okay, I'm going to say, so let's see. Jessica Araceli again, because the rest are listeners. Zero, and this time you are zero. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> okay, you checked, okay. Jessica, now you tell me a uh, demonstrative. <laughs> no, Kenya, not yet. <laughs> Uh, a demonstrative um, pronoun, Jessica. Okay. <laughs> Good. 
Demostrate pronouns. The, these are my grandparents. Yes, these. And okay, these. These okay. are my grandparents. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, Kenya, you want to continue, but you have to be X, not zero. <laughs> you are X, Kenya. Repeat, please. You have to be X. No. No, not no, zero. No. X. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, on the sun. X? No, on the sun. The, haven't you ever played X0? Tic tac toe? Ella creo que había marcado cero, creo. Yes, cero. Pero cero no tocaba, toca X. No, pues I'm sorry. <laughs> ok, do it. <laughs> ok, do it. Ok, Osvaldo. So you marked X, right? Yes. Ok, now let us try, let us try. Osvaldo. Can you say a negative statement using demonstrative adjectives or pronouns para negative? Mm. <laughs> Y hoy lo estoy dejando en libertad, no le estoy diciendo ni adjective ni pronoun, solo le estoy diciendo negative. Mm, that, that shirt is not black. Ok, that's it. Good. Good, Osvaldo. That is negative. Ok, now it is zero. Who wants to mark zero? Se podría, se podría isen también. Don't... You can say. That shirt isn't black. That's it. You can contract it or you cannot contract it. And they are negative. Okay. Both. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Whenever, if you complete this, we have no winners. Right? We have no winners because then if you play here, let's see. Where is the pencil? I don't find it. If you played it here with zero, well, another one is played it here, right? So we have no winner, but you have good exercises, okay? Good. Now we are going to continue with certain vocabulary that we couldn't finish from yesterday. I'm going to stop sharing the whiteboard. Did I do? Okay. We have this. For today's class, we are going to have uh, some other modal auxiliaries. One of them we have already studied, but now remember that one simple modal auxiliary has different usages, right? And that is what we are going to do in this class for today.
The main objective for today's class is that you're going to be able to ask and give information about products in a polite way. A polite way. In there, this is what we are going to have. This is a tongue twister. Tongue twister. You have to say this fast. You have to say it fast. For example, I'm going to read it slowly. I know that you know the vocabulary here, right? But I'm going to say it slowly. We have, if you can't, can, any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy can is? Can, if he can, can, candy cans. Again, if you can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner if he can can candy cans? Again, if you can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can can candy cans? Okay? And of course, we have to do it faster. Let us listen to Elsa. Teacher, mi español puedo los trabajos. But in English, this is easy. This is easy. Okay. <laughs> Let us try. Okay. If you can't can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy can I can I can can? <laughs> If he can, 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 he can. <laughs> okay, almost. Hasta la última, uh, you got some troubles, but in the rest, you did it very good. Okay, now let us listen to um, Kenya. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let us try. If you can. Can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can, if he can, can candy cans. Okay, very good, Kenya. Thank you. Now let us listen to Osvaldo. If you can, can any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner can, if he can, can candy cans. Okay, very good. Now let us listen to, okay, Jessica Araceli. <laughs> I am so sorry. You are the lucky one because the rest are listeners. <laughs> if you can candy any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy canner candy if he can can candy can. Very good. You see that you can do it. Okay. Karen? Hello, teacher. Okay. Wow, you're here. Can you read it? Yes, yes, teacher. If, if you can, can any can, can. How many candy cans can a candy canner can if he can, can candy cans? Okay, very good. Thank you, Karen. Okay, remember that the first one, it is if you can't. That is negative, right? And the last one. Matthew, are you here? Yes. Ah, now you're here. Matthew, can you read it? Yes. Um, if you can, candy any candy can, how many candy cans can a candy? Kenner can if he can, can, candy cans. Okay, thank you. And the last volunteer for reading this is Kenya. But let me see, que yo me confundo con ustedes dos Kenyas. 
Sí, por eso le pregunté cuál Oye, de las dos al principio. Es, es que yo pensé que solamente estaba Kenia, Kenia, Kenia. Who, who participated? Kenia Lisset, ok, Kenia Lisset participated. Entonces yo consideré que ella, que ella era la que seguía, pero ya se había conectado usted también, ok, but let us do it. If you can, can any candy can, how many candy can, can a candy caner can, if he can, can candy can. Ok, very good. So now we are, now that we are very candy can, we are going to practice with that modal auxiliary. What is the modal auxiliary here? Can you identify the modal auxiliary? What is, okay. okay, this is the modal auxiliary. If you can't, is this modal auxiliary? This is not modal auxiliary. This is not modal auxiliary. This is a modal auxiliary. And this is modal auxiliary. These are just the modal auxiliary. The rest are verbs and nouns. Check. Candy can. Candy can. What is here? This is a noun. It is a candy pot. For example, when you have a recipient, and you put some uh, candy, and then that is a candy can. That is a noun. And this is a verb. But in here, this is an auxiliary. This is an auxiliary, and this is an auxiliary. The rest are or nouns or nouns or verbs. Okay, in one single. Yes. Can you read the the this I in Can Spanish, please? Tant, no, I'm not going to say it in Spanish. <laughs> Why? No. Remember that I'm not going to translate. That's what uh, we were saying. We are not going to translate because we need to think <laughs> that this is in English. That's what I'm telling you. This is auxiliary. This is a verb and this is a noun. What do you have to do? You have to look for it and then you need to look for can as a noun, can as a verb. And caner, the caner is the doer. Caner is the person, is the doer. The person that can candies is that <laughs> complicated yes but you will see but we we need to look for the meaning i'm not going to translate <laughs> okay okay Hush. <laughs> okay Hush, teacher <laughs> yeah i know Elsa. Hush. but anyway we are not going to translate it Okay, okay, guys, now that we have practiced with this modal auxiliary again, because remember that we have already practiced with can as a, a possibility, right? And also with a ability. We have this conversation in your book. And in this conversation, we have, indeed, you will find out two modal auxiliaries. One of them, is can. I'm going to read it and then you are going to practice pronunciation. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 or 5.2 cubits foot. 
a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me the information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for two years, one month, or whatever, right? In this conversation, we have included the modal auxiliary in different, in three different equations. We have the first one. How can I help you? Can you give me information about the warranty? And then it is repeated again. Check the equations. We are going to uh, understand what is the purpose of the equation. And also we have another one that is could. Could you give me some information about the ProMaster? Could you repeat that, please? What is the purpose of the two modal auxiliaries? We are going to check it, but first we are going to practice pronunciation. Let me check. Let me erase first. And then, we are going to have Linda, and also we are going to have Juan. Okay, Linda, it's going to be, let me see. Linda is going to be Valerie. Valerie? Yes. Okay, you are Linda. And Karen is going to be Juan. Karen? Okay. 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 okay, guys. Read please thanks so much for calling linda is speaking how can i help you hi linda would you give me some information about the pro watches of course it has a capacity of 5.2 go I don't know. A turbo COVID, process. COVID foot. COVID foot. Okay, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? War War warranty? Warranty. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The, the warranty of it is for? One month. That is very common, right? One month only, the warranty. Okay. Now, Valerie. No, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> because it's for me. It is difficult. It is going to be more difficult for you. Okay. Now. Uh, Linda is going to be is going to be Kenya set and yes, yes. Osvaldo, you are going to be Juan. Okay. Osvaldo, are you here? Yes. Okay, you are Juan. Okay. Kenya. Kenya Lisset. <laughs> Perdón, tenía este apagado. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a 
capacity of 5.2 cuff a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of is it is for one month. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. This conversation is mainly uh, based on the a customer, right, and the salesperson. But in this case, it is by phone, right? It is by phone. They are speaking and he is asking for more information. Nowadays, a very famous uh, profession, no, a very famous occupation in this case, it is to become a, a, how can we say that? An agent for call centers, right? Because you can't telework because you are working maybe from the, the on-site from the places or maybe you can work from your houses. And many of these factories are offering people to work from their houses and they carry the computers and everything to your house and then you can work. Maybe you can have an account you are selling from here you are here in El Salvador, but indeed the product that you are selling, it is from Canada, maybe it is from the United States or from any other part of the world. So this kind of communication has helped to sell in different uh, part of the world without moving from your country. But this is like having uh, whenever you are having a phone call, it means that the vocabulary that you are going to use has to be very polite, right? And then you can see here the way that she introduces herself. She say, she says, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. She introduces herself because it happens some the time, sometimes that you are calling and then you are asking, ¿Quién habla ahí? What is that? Right? So you need to introduce yourself immediately right first you introduce yourself of course because this is your job but if it is just a call in which you are calling your friends the ones who introduces his or herself is the person that is calling that is different but when you are selling you have to introduce yourself and then immediately comes this question how can i help you The way that you are introducing yourself and the way that you have asked this, it is that you are offering help in a polite way. In a polite way. What does it mean that this vocabulary is formal? because you have to be polite. How can I help you? This is one way. And then the customer says, hi, Linda, could you give me information, some information about the pro-washer? This kind of jobs now, they are, including your names because they want to have 
a real communication between customer and the seller. And then they create that connection when you introduce yourself with your name because this customer immediately says, hey, hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? This is an example because in real life, <laughs> sometimes the customers are not using this kind of vocabulary. They are very tough, right? They don't care that much about being polite or not. I don't know if any of you works in a call center. Have you ever worked in a call center? Yes, I work in a call center. Okay, you worked or do you work in this? I work in this in this moment. In a okay. Call center. Okay, you work in a call center. Sales agent. En español, pero si no decimos el saludo, nos, nos evalúa mal el área de calidad. Tenemos que decirlo, sí o sí. Yes, so you have to introduce yourself, right? You have no choice. And what I'm telling you that the agent has to introduce his or himself. But in this conversation, the customer ask the information very polite. But this doesn't happen all the time. Right, Osvaldo? They are very rough the way that they ask. Yes. Yeah, and that is a difficulty that all these agents have. Because since they are the customers, they think that they are... Uh, they have to do it in that way. And they shout sometimes. And the agents, they need to calm down and they need to look for any other strategy to continue working and the right, how can I say, temper, because you need to do it. And then the agent, in this case, Linda, she offers or she gives the information that he needs. He was asking about the pro washer information and she is giving that information. And then he got a tra uh, travel here and then I see, can you give me information about the warranty? Attendance. About the, the warranty and then, I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? It means that the agent maybe got some troubles that she couldn't understand very well, the question. And then she said, I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? And then the customer repeated. Can you give me information about the warranty? Okay, thanks, because he repeated. And then she gives the information. Okay, the warranty is of it, it is for, and you give the time for the warranty. But the whole conversation that you can see here, the vocabulary that it is used, it is very polite. When you request information, could you give me some information? Okay, <laughs> yes, Berta, okay, uh, I heard, but uh, then I read that you were as a listener, right? That's why I, I didn't continue asking for you, Berta. Okay. Now that we have here, we are going to see like, uh, I want you to pay attention about this also. All the ones that we have here. Ah, okay, okay. So I'm going to take it into account, Berta. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Here I have a question. 
Here I have a question. Here I have a question. Here I have a question. All of them are questions, but can I use the auxiliary in common sentences, positive sentences? Of course, we can use them. This is what we have in your books. Can and the examples. I can give you my personal information. She can't negative. She can't pay for the washer right now. And then we have question. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? Modal auxiliary, modal auxiliary. Affirmative statement, negative statement. Yes, no questions. The only thing that I don't have in these examples are the WH questions. For example, I can include one in sets. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I am offering you help. But then I have this grammar structure. These four affirmative. And as we studied previously, the auxiliary can remember, remember that we are going to use the verb in the base form. It doesn't matter if it is third person singular or not. It doesn't matter. The verb has to be in the base form with third person singular and with the rest of the pronouns. So I can say, I can give, she can give, they can give. I can pay, she can pay, they can pay. And the verb doesn't change at all. Of course, the negatives. The negatives, this is like a, a, gen, a review from can that we studied last week, remember. And then we have the negative in which we say cannot, cannot. But also we can use them in a contracted way. In the contracted way, we can say can't. Like this, can't. Or cannot. It is not a big difference between affirmative and negative. The only aspect is that you need to add the, the, the word not to the auxiliary. So, so teacher, yes. Uh, yes. So you can, you can use or you can write Cannot is the example for the, and you can use can't is the same. You it can is use the same. the same form. Okay. It is okay. the same for contracted and not contracted. The meaning is the same. Okay, thank you. Okay. And then we have uh, the questions. Can you give her my personal information? You are asking another person to give your personal information. Can she pay for the washer? Can they send the information? The only difference that we did for working with the equation was that we interchange, we change the order. And instead of 
having the subject first, I just moved to here and then the auxiliary moved to the first place. And I have the question. The, the question. Yes? Ya pasó lista. No, not yet, but I'm going to do it. Immediately when I finish with this, I'm going to do okay. it. I, I have forgotten now. Okay, but thank you. Okay, so this is for the question. This is what I did. I just interchanged the beginning subject and auxiliary. In a sentence, it is you can give, but for the question, it is can you? Can you? Can she? Can they? Can I? Right? Okay, I'm going to stop just for a while because I'm going to look for the attendance. Okay, guys. Okay, you know, y los que ya saben la dinámica, pues abren su cámara, right? Um, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Okay. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Eric is not here, right? No. Ok, hagamos, hagamos, hagamos algo, chicos. Apaguemos los micrófonos, please. Y solamente los encendemos at the moment that you are going to answer, ok? Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos, ah, she asks for permission. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Okay. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Carlina, okay, I was going to repeat. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kenin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present, teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores. Present, teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michel Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. Ok, Wilmer and Wilfredo, right? En Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, guys. So that was the first Present time. Present teacher. Aha, Jessica. Present teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay, Amanda. Okay, now we are going to continue. I was here. So we were uh, saying that that is with the auxiliary can. Could. I have more examples and then I have. You could try with another credit card. Or they couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name, please? Could you, could we check the details? of my order, what they are saying here, listen, listen, they are mentioning credit cards, 
billing address, details of my order. So they are talking about a purchase. She has bought something and maybe they got some travels because she didn't receive the product. That's why maybe it is here. They couldn't give you my billing address. When you have that travel that you can give a billing address, maybe the product, it is not going to arrive to your house. And that is a problem. Remember that we have billing address. That is the place where you receive certain products. This is when you receive, for example, um, your letters, personal letters, but maybe this is not the same as the address that you have for your business, remember. But I have could, and I'm going to explain exactly the same as I did with Ken, but we will see the difference. There is a slight difference between two of them. I have the affirmative statement here and then I say I could give you my personal information or she could pay for the washer or they could send the information. Affirmative. Subject. Auxiliary. Base. Form of the verb. And the complement. I, she, they. Any subject. Plus the auxiliary. And then you have to use any verb, but in the based form. And of course, the complement has to be something coherent. Negative. I just add the negative form. And instead of saying could, I'm going to say could not. Or if I want to use it contracted, what am I going to say? Couldn't. 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 We don't, we don't mention, uh, that is important. I don't say cold. I don't say cold because I don't pronounce letter L. Right? So, an event from these two, I can have cold. one. And then I say could. 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 So, I don't pronounce could. letter L. So, the same happened when I pronounce the negative contractive and then I say couldn't, 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 Good. okay, couldn't, couldn't, Good. Good. or, or if we need to practice a little bit more, we are going to say couldn't, couldn't, but that is couldn't. like, aha, uh -huh, couldn't. But that is not the correct way. But little by little, you're going to practice. You're going to practice. And then you are going to say couldn't. Couldn't. Like if we were frogs. Okay? Hagan ese sonido como que si fuéramos sapitos. O para que se escuche much better. Como que si tocaran las cuerdas de la guitarra. When you say no es aquí. Mm. Pronunciation, it is not here. Mm. It is here. And then I say, couldn't, 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 right? Like, like important, <laughs> like mountain, like uh, didn't, different words. That sound we don't have that sound in Spanish. In Spanish, we don't have that sound. But in English, we have to use it, right? Ese sonidito de frog, that is very common in English. Okay. So we say couldn't. And then I have the question. In the question I say, could you, could you, 
Could you? 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 And some other could thing. Yeah, could you? Could you give her personal information? Could she? Could she? Could she pay for the washer? Could they send the information? Could, she, could you? Could she? Could she? Could they? Could they? So I have the three statements, affirmative, negative, and questions. Now, how to make request, how to make request. What is a request? Respuesta. No, that is not, okay. That is not a request. Solicitar. <laughs> okay, that is when you ask for something, okay? When you ask for something, that is request. How to make request when you want help. And then you say, hey, can you help me with my homework? Can you give me a hand? Can you say it again? I didn't hear, I didn't listen to you. Can you repeat that again? That is a, a request. This is a request, okay? And now we are going to write down a request in the chat box. Okay, in the chat box, write down a request. Soliciten algo. ¿A quién? I don't know. You just say, can you? I don't know who that you is, but you are going to ask for something. Okay, Osvaldo, can you open the door, please? That's good. Can you take me a car? Mm, it sounds weird, but it has sense, verdad? Because it, it sounds like you need a car and that person can help you with that car, with one car that maybe you are going to rent. That is the way that I understand it. When you say, can you take me a car? Can you give me a moment? Sure. Can you repeat that again, please? Yes. Okay, Remberto. Remberto? Yes. Okay, Remberto. Yes. The, the sentence that you have written has a difference with the rest of the equations. Can you see? Oh, yes, 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 a compliment. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Pay attention. Okay. Can you repeat that, please? Can you help me? Can you? Oh, yes, and yes, then yes. You say, can you play soccer? Yes. We are talking about yes. abilities. You are to, yes, is an ability. Okay. Okay. And we are not talking about I correct in this moment. We okay. are asking for requests. Okay, Remberto. Can you repeat the last questions? Okay, Remberto. And, uh, well, Berta is the last one. So, but it is good. It is good to have like these sentences because you can compare that it is not the same when we say, when we use the modal auxiliary can for ability, because for ability, we use can, but the context is different, right? Okay, so all these exercises are for making requests. Now it comes the defense. Now it is better, Remberto, because you are requesting something. Can you send me okay. an email? Good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, at any time. Then we have, check this out.
What does it say? A more formal way to make requests. What is the difference so, between can and could? Could is more polite. It is more polite. It is more formal whenever you use could. Could you do me a favor? Could you give me a lift to the station? Could you clarify this for me, please? It is more polite. It is more formal. Could than can. And that is a big difference in these contexts. Both of them are requesting something, both. But one, it is more formal than the other one. And that is a big difference between both of them. Okay, now, write down in the chat box a more formal request. Matthew, you say, can you support with my laptop? Can you support, when you say, can you support with my laptop, uh, Matthew? I understand that uh, that... Como darle mantenimiento, no? Ah, no, in that case, it is check. Could you check? Because okay. support, support is like... Economic support. Help me, please. I need economic support. Right? Okay. That, that, that is the difference when we say uh, support. So, in this case, it is check. Can you check, check. my computer, my laptop, please? Okay. Okay, Berta, that is a correct sentence. You say, question indeed. Could you help me with a lesson? With the lesson, the lesson, no, no sería a lesson. In this case, could you help me with the lesson? Porque ya sabemos de cuál lesson. Could you help me with the lesson of today? And if we can improve, lo vamos a todavía mejorar y vamos a decir, could you help me with today's lesson? Today's lesson? With apostrophe, today's lesson? And it is much better. Okay, but only Berta has written the more polite. Okay. That's it. Could you help me with today's lesson? That's it, Berta. Okay, Osvaldo. <laughs> Could you lend me money? Okay. I said, don't ask money. If you have friends, you have never asked for money. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but it is very polite. That is true. <laughs> Could you give me a cup of coffee, please? Okay. La necesidad lo ha hecho mil. <laughs> yes. Más polite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Lucy. Could you give me a cup of coffee? That is okay. Okay, guys. Kid. So now this is the comparison that we have with the uh, uh, modal auxiliaries can and could. Now we are going backwards again. And we are going to the beginning of this. Uh, what a manchason I have here. Now it is gone. Now we have the conversation and now you understand much better and now you will see the difference between one and other question. You can see how can I help you, right? And then could you give me more information? 
And then maybe you might, might think in this moment, can I change and instead of saying, how could I help you? No. And these ones, when you are offering, they are polite. They are polite. But in this case, these are the most appropriate questions. How can I help you? Right? But when you are requesting with a yes, no question, yes, no question, yes, you can introduce it with could. Right? You can do it to be more polite, of course. And also here you have two examples of can. And now we are going to see different, uh, how can I say, products. We are talking about warranty. Maybe we are going to talk about the mailing address. And I'm going to give you just a little bit more of vocabulary because we are going to work with a conversation, right? Very similar to this. But I'm going, I'm going to give you a little bit more vocabulary related to online sales. By the way, have you ever, have you ever shopped online? Have you ever shopped online? Have you ever Sometimes. shop online? Have you done it? Yes or not? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you trust? Do you like the products? Yes. yes. Sometimes. Okay. Because I think, I think it is not the same to shop online than to shop on site. I prefer to shop on site. On Me too on site on site versus online what do you prefer on site or online online <laughs> online do you, prefer, do you prefer online Cute. yeah okay why why elsa because you can see the the characteristics uh -huh. um, Robbers of the product. Uh -huh. um, they, they have a. Uh, no sé cómo se dice. Con una ficha técnica. Yes, yes, a description of the item, of the product. Uh -huh. And yeah. you trust, you trust. Confía, you trust. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who has written? On site. Berta says on site. Me too, Berta. Okay. I prefer on site. <laughs> right? For me, it is better because I, 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 let me see. Like three years ago, I think, I bought like a drawer, plastic drawer. But I have an idea about the plastic drawer. But when I received it, I didn't like. In appearance, in appearance, it was very nice. But it was very weak. It was not good. For me, it was not good. So then I said, I will never buy another drawer or any other product online. Maybe in is uh -huh. the, the shop? Yeah, but but I, I I I don't really like online shopping. But nowadays it is very common, right? 
Okay, now let's see. Let's see the vocabulary that we use when we uh, buy online. So you are experts. You are experts. Let's see. What vocabulary can we have online? We can have the vocabulary or pre-order. Pre-order. <clears throat> this is mainly done, I have heard this term with the new fonts. Have you heard that? When they have a new font, for example, the iPhones, they have like a pre-order. It means that we order a product before it has become available for purchase. Have you ever bought in a pre-order? Yes or no? No. 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 Okay. But have you ever heard about pre-order? Do you understand what pre-order is, guys? Are you falling asleep? <laughs> it, it is when the, the product is, is, isn't um, available. 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 In the stores. Yeah. Yes. So you don't have the product in the stores. That's why online they say pre-order. That is what we have. This is the first term. Then we have another one. That is this one. Back order. The back order refers to the <clears throat> items that are not currently in stock but they are going to be soon. So it means that it is not currently in stock, but they are going to be soon. They have been there, but in that moment, they don't have, but they are waiting to have another stock soon. Order tracking or online tracking. But this happened with online, <coughs> online stores, online stores. This is not exactly what happens, for example, with um, uh, what is the one that we have? Marketplace. This is not related to marketplace, right? This is different. What is the difference? What is the difference between online store and uh, uh, marketplace? If I am talking about order tracking or online tracking. In marketplace, you can not uh, monitor the products. You don't know when the product uh, come to you. Yes, yes. Order tracking, okay? You don't know. You don't know where the product is. You don't know. And also in the marketplace, you cannot pay online, right? In advance. Okay. You cannot pay in advance. With uh, with them, you need to pay at the moment when you meet with the person or when you, yes. or when your product is delivered, right? Yes. <laughs> you are with the football match, right? Then we have partial shipment. Partial shipment. What is the partial shipment? What is shipment first? 
What is shipment? Pedido. Ah, but shipment? What is the word shipment? Order. But it, shipment, it is the process of, how can I say, the means of transportation that you are going to have for having the product. That is the shipment. And partial shipment is, for example, when you buy two products, one product is going to be in one, uh, uh, it's going to be shipped apart and then another one apart. They is what we have partial shipment. But shipment, it is related como, to the como un envío, como un envío. Yes, that is the shipment of the product. But shipment means it is more related to the, how can I say? The means of transportation. Por medio de que le llega el shipment. From a car, maybe a motorcycle, but that is the shipment. The vehicle that they use. But in this case, it is partial oh, because okay. of, of the payment that they are receiving because of what you are using. Okay? Okay, now. We have shopping cart or shopping basket. What is this? What is the shopping cart? Como el carrito de compra. That's it. That's it. Exactly. That is. But online, you see the shopping cart like a little drawing, right? And you are clicking and clicking. And then it says, a place yeah. on a website that keeps a record of the items that you have chosen to buy from the website and you just click and then you have it in the shop cart, shopping cart. Marvel payments. Nowadays, you can make your payments for from mobile payments, right? At any time, we are living, for example, uh, the, the computers. We are not using the computers for every single activities. Now, your mobiles are getting that rolled, the mobiles. So, for example, you can pay from your mobile immediately and no problem at all. You don't need to use your credit cards or your cards, right? <clears throat> And this is shipping, and that was partial shipping, and this is shipping. Shipping denotes the processing, packaging, and dispatching of small items that can be sent quickly and easily, typically through a local career service. But that is shipping. The whole process, packaging, dispatching, and uh, and also the enveloped that they are going the way that they are going to sell them. Okay. Ya casi two more and then we finish. The return policy. What is the return policy? ¿Alguna vez han tenido que regresar algún producto ustedes because you didn't like? Or sí. not because or me, because no 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 you didn't like it is because it didn't work right and then you say returns policy are the regulations that a company has set in a place regarding a customer's ability to return a product. In commonly, when we have this kind of uh, returning, we have, if we, if you return your product, most of the time, it means that you will have the refund. If you <clears throat> return it, you have your refunds. And the last one. 
store credit. The store credit is the written permission to exchange a purchase item for any other item of the same value for the same shop. But they are interchanging, right? Oh no, this was the last one. Custom uh, refund. This is the last one. Refund is when you get back your money. When the product was not okay, or what not was not what you expected, right? Now you have to collect all the information, the vocabulary and the vocabulary that we use in the conversation, because now you are going to work with your conversation, right? Let's see. Now I'm going to assign your teamwork for creating your conversation. Maybe, maybe the product doesn't work very well and maybe you want to have your money back y por eso usted quiere llamar. Y el agent le va a contestar porque usted quiere su refund. So, and they are going to, okay, what can, can I help you? And then you create your conversation, right? About any product. Let me see. Amanda and Berta. Amanda, Amanda and Berta. Huh? Uh, okay, Berta, you're going to work. Ah, no, Amanda, no, Amanda is a listener. I am so sorry. Okay, Berta and Elsa. You two together. Okay. Uh, Jessica, you together. Okay, hello, Jessica, Carolina, are you going to work? No, I don't think so. Okay, Jessica and Kerin. Teacher. Yes? No puedo. No, that's why. I didn't include you. Okay. Thank you. Oops. Um, Kenya and Kenya? Yes, right? Kenya and Kenya. And uh, Remberto and Valerie? Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, Remberto and Valerie. And the last one. Yes. Let me see. Matthew? Yes. Um, voy a abrir los equipos y lo voy a mandar a alguno de los equipos que acabo de conformar porque ya no hay nadie más. Available. De acuerdo. Okay. Okay, Matthew. Yes, yes. I'm going to do it immediately when uh, they are opened. Okay, guys, write down your conversation in this right moment, please, with your own information. See room number
Hello, Roberto. Hi, teacher. Uh, uh, could you please repeat the exercise, please? Okay. You are going to write down a conversation based on the information from the conversation that we read at the beginning. Um, no estaba conectado al inicio. No, padre. No, la de, la de... Yo sí, pero tenemos que usar así también el, el could, el can. El could, el can e incluso vocabulario que di al final, como el refound, el ship, el shipment. ¿Por qué? Porque dentro de la conversación pide eh, diferentes aspectos. En este caso pidió la warranty, pero ustedes también pueden hablar de otros problemas. Let me tell you the right... I close this. Let me tell you what page exactly from the book is the conversation, okay. right? Because I have forgotten. Let me see. Okay. The conversation in your book is on page number... What did I do? Page number 21. In page 21, okay. you have the conversation. Okay. I'm going to, uh, let me see. I'm going to make a screenshot and I'm going to post it in the chat box. Okay, thanks. It is going to be faster. I think that if I post it in the general uh, room, I think that you will be able to see it. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you. Fukis, tenés tú esa. ¿La viste? Ahorita compartió el archivo. Sí. Y la puedes, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ahorita la. Entonces yo digo, so sorry, we, mm. eh. so sorry, mm. Hello, teacher. Yo estaba trabajando con Kenia, pero creo que no sacó del. Ok. Es que Matthew sí estaba con Kenia, 
pero sí. la encontré solita, entonces la moví de, de, de room. Saqué. No, a mí me, a mí me a sacó. A usted lo sacó. Ah, ok. Ajá. Y yo la saqué a ella. <risa> ok. Lo voy a mandar. Sí, sí chef. Yes. Yo estaba sola también. Y supuestamente con Kerin. Entonces, eh, los voy a mover a los dos, ¿ok? Um, sí. Jessica en... En... Jessica en... <ríe> no me aparece, muchacho. Ni conectado ni desconectado me aparece. Jessica. Matthew, no me aparece en ningún lado. Matthew. No, teacher, no está conectado. ¿Verdad? ¿Se desconectó? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, entonces Jessica la voy a mandar con el primer equipo. Ok. Ok. Ay, Matthew, se me desaparece. Eh, eso le iba a decir, fíjese que cuando se me pasó, se me cayó o no me había pasado. No, como no, si lo pasé. Vamos a intentarlo, vamos a intentarlo. Porque, tengo, a porque tengo buena señal y se cae. Ah, pues no, lo voy a mandar ahorita. Vamos para la sala 5, vamos a ver. Ok. And I help you. Mm, ok. Y ella usa, me dice, o me contesta como su nombre y cuál es su problema. Send me the ticket. Pro. So, yo diría... Eh... Pro. Ahí sería, te parece, quiero ver. So, lo leemos... Eh... Leámoslo para ver cómo vamos. Empezás. 
Okay, good morning. My name is Valeria. Thanks for calling. How can I help you? Hi, Valerie. My name is Roberto Calderon. Could you give me some information about the MacBook Pro, please? Sure. What kind of MacBook Pro do you need? Ah, bueno, so, ahí estoy uh, diciendo ya la, la, la Sí, no, pero fíjate está. que ahí fue, fue error mío, porque yo simple y sencillamente te tendría que decir, could you give me about information about the iMac or Mac?
Are you ready, ladies? Oh, se me yeah, we are ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ya estaban dormidas. <laughs> we no. take a nap. <laughs> okay. Be ready, everyone. We're coming back. Teacher, we need more time. What happened? <laughs> you haven't finished? <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Okay, anyways, we are going to present just the part that you no. have from the conversation. <laughs> no, estábamos fumando una conversación. Que ni Nayib Bukele la tenía. And it is because I was checking the different rooms. Pero en el primer room hasta ya se me habían dormido. <laughs> Because they have Pucci. finished. <laughs> no, mi Valid y yo discutiendo si iba a ser por avión o por bar. <laughs> eh, the shipment. Good, good. <laughs> sí, pero ni modo, dije yo, antes que se me okay. estén durmiendo. Digo yo, no, yo better. <laughs> I'm going to okay. stop this. Ok, guys. Okay, we are going to start with Elsa and Berta. Yes. Okay. We're ready. You're ready. Yeah. Good evening. My name is Elsa. How can I help you? Nice to meet you. My name is Berta. Uh, good. How can I help you, Mr. Berta? I, I bought a pair of shoes, but there are damages and I need to return my money. So sorry. Can you give me more information about the product? I bought last Sunday and my shoes are broken and dirty. Okay, Mrs. Berta, could, could you send me the ticket? Of course, in this moment. All right, I'm going to process your refund. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, only that. Okay, bye. Okay, good. Only, only the, the last question it was, uh, anything else to help you? And then you say, yes. Estaba esperando otra cosa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it was only that. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Berta and Elsa. Okay, team number two. No, let me tell you who is the next one because I was moving from one place to another one. Que se distorsionaron los equipos. Okay, let me see. Room number four, Kenya, Rembert, and Valerie.
Are you here? Remberto, Kenya, Valerie. Yes, but um, cuando lo estábamos haciendo eh, con Valerie, eh, se incorporó Kenia, pero ella dijo que lo estaba haciendo con otro compañero. Entonces Exacto. al final ya no, la, ya no se incluyó en la conversación de tres, no que solo lo hicimos de dos, porque ella estaba con alguien más. Que es que yo Ajá. estaba con, con Mateo, entonces Ajá. ellos ya estaban trabajando, teacher, y yo ya no, obviamente no los podía interrumpir a Valeria y a Remberto. Sí, acababan de comenzar, que ya. No, pero teacher, no, si vamos a fumar, que ya voy a ir. Sí. <risa> ok, I want to listen that. Oh, I want to listen. Ok, I want to listen that. I want to listen. Ok, okay are you ready, Valeria? Yes. Okay, start it. Okay. Good morning. My name Valeria. Thanks for calling. How can I help you? Hi, Valeria. My name is Roberto Calderon. Could you give me, please, information about the eMac or MacBook, please? Sure. What kind of eMac do you need? Um, but I don't know, but can you give me about the last version of MacBook, please? Of course, it has a 512 gigabytes and 22 hours of battery and intelligent keyboard. Great, I needed someone, but what kind of shipping do you have? The shipping is it's via DHL. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but what is the price of shipping? Y ahí nos quedamos. Ahí nos quedamos. <laughs> la teacher no nos dejó terminar. Y vamos a hacer un gran broche de oro. Así tipo la película. No, but you can finish. You, you can finish and then you tomorrow you present it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. Okay. And the last team is Mateo in the, um, in Jessica. Jessica. Okay. Jessica. Excuse me. Okay. Good. Okay, teacher. Um, iniciamos. Hello, my name is Mateo. How can I help you? Hello, Mateo. My name is Jessica. Can you check my order number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, please? I will check and be right back. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Uh, your order is being processed and your payment uh, has been confirmed. Thank you for information. We are more than happy to help you, Miss Jessica. Okay, very good, guys. The only thing that you can change there, your order has been shipped. That's it. Has been shipped. It means it's going through the way to get into his address, right? Instead of saying being processed, you can say being shipped. Okay. 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 That is the only thing. Okay. Thank you, guys. Very good. <coughs> And to finish, we have just the exercises from the book. We have here, for example, from the conversation, it says, what does Juan want to buy? From the conversation, what does Juan to buy? Pro washer. The pro washer. 
right? He buys a pro washer. Okay, he wants to buy, he wants to buy a pro washer. Now, what question can you say instead of repeat? For example, here. I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? En lugar de decir esto, what other question can you use? Can? Uh -huh. can. can you repeat that, please? No, but I did say, instead of repeat, en lugar de decir okay. repeat, okay? Can you see the program? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that you were going to say, right? Okay. Because uh, you can you see your question? No, because you didn't understand the question. Pero le quiere pedir que le repita, pero sin decir repetir. Can you tell me again, please? Good up, good option. Can you tell me? I would say I would add. Can you say that again? Can you say that again? That's it. Can you say that again, please? Ya no utilizamos repeat. And number three, are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Are they polite or impolite? Polite. No, polite. Okay. The vocabulary has been polite. Why? She say good. That's it. Good. Because the auxiliary is good and can are polite. And then finally, we are going to finish with this. We are going to finish with these questions. It says, complete the questions can and could, then ask a partner with the partner and write answers. Let us ask the questions. Can you, any, any question, any request? Any request? Así como hicimos al inicio, que ustedes escribieron las suyas. Now here. Call you in the chat box. Better, better in the chat box. Escriban una, nada más. Todos. Only one, only one question. Okay, can you give me a glass of water? Could you say me your occupations? Okay. Can you write a sentence, please? Sentence, please. Can you help me with the report? Yes. Okay. So you are asking requests. Okay, guys. Very good. Thank you very much for sharing your sentences there. Now, just be ready with the attendance. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, then continue sending your uh, sentences, right? Can you send me an email about the laptops, please? Good. Okay, be ready now. Jessica, Carolina, no, 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 no. He comenzado mal. Okay. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. 
Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Can Elisa. I go to the bed? <laughs> <laughs> One minute and you can leave. Okay. <laughs> Eric Isaac Chavez Hernandez. Present. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present. José Adilson. No. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elizabeth Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valerie Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Ok, guys. I was checking the exercises from the platform. Some of you are uh, doing the exercises. Que no se les vayan acumulando, okay? So please try to advance with those exercises, right? Okay, so right. that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Thank you, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Ahora sí, Elsa.